Hey there, welcome back. In case we haven't met yet, my name is B, and I love to code the heck out of Squarespace and teach other designers how to do it too. Today, I'm going to be addressing a question that I got in a previous video. Last time, we tackled how we can add custom icons to the accordion block by substituting the original arrows or plus signs with our own. Now, this time, I'm going to show you how you can keep those arrows or plus signs and also add in your custom icons next to the title. So if this is something that you want to learn how to implement in your current project, make sure to keep on watching to learn how to make it happen. Okay, so here I am in a 7.1 site that I'm going to be using as an example to show you how we can add those icons to the accordion block. So here I have my regular accordion block and you can see that I have a little bit of content in here and then I have the chevron arrow selected. But keep in mind that this customization is going to work regardless of whether you're using the arrow or if you're using the plus sign. Now, to be able to add a little icon before each of the different items that we have in here, what we could do is use a pseudo element, which is going to allow us to sort of attach an extra element or an extra item to something that is already there on the page. So let's go ahead and take a look at where we want to attach those elements or those icons so that we can start creating our selector to be able to bring them in. So I'm going to look in here and see what we can find. So here I seem to have landed on the accordion item title and then just taking a look a little bit around to sort of orient myself here. We can see that this is inside a container called accordion item click target. You can see how this one is holding the title here and also the little arrow on the side. And then if we move a little bit further down, you can see how this is only holding the arrow there. So obviously we don't really want to use this one as sort of that target container, like the one that we're going to be using to attach the image, because otherwise the image would be on this side and that's not really what we want. We want it to be here before the title. So we can basically work with this container. We could work with this container or this container or apparently even this container because this one is already carrying like all three elements that we have in here. And we want to target each of the different drop down titles individually. So I think it's actually going to be better to work with this particular container. And the reason why I want to work with this one is because this one is a flex container. So that means that once we add that image inside our pseudo element, it's going to be very easy to make sure that that image stays in the same horizontal line as the other two things that we have in here. So let's go ahead and work with this accordion item click target. Now I'm going to go ahead and target that. And we're going to create our pseudo element by adding here a before because I want that icon to sit to the left side. If we wanted that icon to sit to the right side, then we would use an after. But right now, like I said, I want it to sit on this side. So I'm going to work with a before. Now, the first thing that we always need to do when we're working with a pseudo element is to add the content property. Right now, we're not really going to add anything within the content property because what I want to do is create an empty container that is going to hold a background image that is going to be our icon. So let's go ahead and finish creating this container here. So I'm going to give this a height of about 40 pixels and a width of about 40 pixels as well. And then you can see that by doing that, now we have something going on here on the screen. We can see how the title has been pushed a little bit to the right side and there's a little bit of extra height in here. So let's go ahead and add a quick background color to see what we're working with. So if I set this to red, you can see how now we have a lovely little red square on the side of our title. So right before that title. Now let's go ahead and take this opportunity to add a little bit of spacing in between these two things because I feel like this is way too close together. So let's add a little bit of a margin to the right side of about, I don't know, like 10 pixels. I think that looks pretty good. And then what we can do is bring in our image. Now the approach here is going to vary depending on what you want to do. If you want to add the same image to all of the drop down titles that we have here inside this accordion block, then what you can do is substitute the background color. I mean, you don't need to substitute it, but you can go ahead and add the background image property to this same snippet. And whichever image you bring in here is going to be added to all the suit element containers that we just created. So let's go ahead and try that out. I'm going to add in here a background image and I'm going to set a URL. I'm going to grab one of the little icons that I already have in here. I'm just going to go ahead and use the bell. And then right now you can see that nothing really is showing. And that is because the image is a little bit too big for the container. So let's modify that by setting here background size contain. 
And by doing that, you can see how now the image has resized to be able to fit the dimensions that we gave the pseudo element container. So if this is what you want your dropdown or accordion block to look like, then you're all good to go. You just need to add your own icon in there and you're all set. Now, if you want to work with a different icon for each of the dropdown titles that you have in here, then we have to do things a little bit differently. I'm going to go ahead and keep the background size set to contain for all pseudo elements, but I'm going to remove the background image property. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look for a specific class or something that all of the different titles in the accordion block have in common. And then we're going to be using the nth child selector to be able to target the first title, the second title and the third title. And of course, you can keep going if you have more in your accordion block, but I'm only working with three. So let's go ahead and take a look here and see what that's going to look like. So this element that we have in here, this button element is the one that we're currently targeting to be able to add the pseudo element. However, if I keep going up, you're going to see that if I land here where it says LI that says accordion item, if I were to close this one up, I can clearly see the first sibling, the second sibling and the third sibling. So basically the way that we can target the that particular element, so that button element within the first, the second or the last element is by targeting that first accordion item and then the button element within that first accordion item and then targeting the second element and the button element inside that second element and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this accordion item class and I'm going to target the first one. I could also use here first child, but I'm just going to use nth child one. And you're going to see, let's just do a quick test here. You're going to see that if I were to do this now, only the first element in here is going to get selected. So this is actually selecting all of the item that we have in here, like the item in full. But the important part is that it's only selecting the first one. Now, if I were to change this to nth child two, you can see how it's selecting the second one. And if I were to use nth child three, this is going to select the third one. Now, of course, I don't want to edit the full item. I want to edit part of that particular item. So I'm going to go back to nth child one. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and remove this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select that button element, the same one that we've been doing before that we've been working with before. I'm going to select that pseudo element for that button element within that first child. And now if I go ahead and apply a background color here, then you can see how only this first pseudo element gets selected because I'm targeting the pseudo element within the first accordion item. And then if I were to change this to two, now I'm targeting the pseudo element within the second accordion item. And then the same thing for the third one or the fourth one or however many accordion items you have inside your dropdown. So I'm going to start with the first one and I'm going to change the background color here for a background image because that's what I actually want to use. So let's go ahead and set here the URL. And I'm going to be using the bell for the first one. And you can see that by doing this, since I have the background size here set to contain for all pseudo elements, then that sizing is being applied to the background image. But the background image is only being applied to that first accordion item because that's how I'm targeting it here. And now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the code and change here the nth child because now I want to target the second one. And to the second one, I want to apply a different background image. So let's go ahead and select here the camera. And you can see how now I have the bell and the camera. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the third one. And so for the third one, I'm going to go ahead and replace this icon with, let's say, the clip. And just like that, you can see how now we can target the different titles that we have inside our accordion block and we can add that little image here on the side. And there you have it. That's how you can keep those arrows or plus signs inside your accordion block and also add in your custom icons next to the titles. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on future content. And if you ever have a question about how to customize things further, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll address it in a future video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.